This awful scene is worth hugging over. Michelle Pacheco Ortiz and Wally Salata met outside UNM Hospital just hours before. They got the call their kids had been in a horrible crash near Tramway and Academy. Just looking at different angles of the car, most people don't survive a crash like that. Unfortunately, they were, they're, they're 16, 17 years old. Amaya's mom got a desperate call. She could hear the other girls screaming in the background for help. Tell me what's wrong, where is she, what's going on? And she said, she's, she's in the car. Her and Georgia got into a car accident and they can't get her out. And they said, what do you mean they can't get her out? And she said, she's pinned in the car, she's crushed. It was kind of split in half. The, uh, Amaya was the passenger and she was up against the pole. Emergency crews had to use the jaws of life. People lined the street offering help. There was a, a gentleman that even despite knowing that the car was steaming and could possibly catch fire, he stayed there the whole 45 minutes and held my daughter's hand. You know, he didn't care whether she was black or white, green, purple, anything. You know, it was just peop good people helping other people, and I'm so grateful for that. Amaya and Georgia are good friends on and off the Rio Rancho High School basketball court. Georgia's dad just celebrated her sweet 16 with her. Her birthday was on Wednesday, uh, so she just got the car. And Amaya and Georgia are really, really close friends. And they, they, they even here at the hospital, they've been asking about each other, but they haven't been able to talk or see each other. Their serious injuries keeping them apart. Amaya had the, the, the broken femur and she was, she's in surgery for four hours, I think it was. And uh, that just finished a little while ago. Georgia has 14 staples on her left side of her head. She has six incisions inside her right side and then another 12 to close that off. She has four broken bones in her neck and four uh, fractured bones in her upper back. And she's in a neck brace right now. As they recover, their parents want to know who drove this black car and hit them. She was being very safe. She was going the speed limit. She didn't do anything wrong. She said that car came out of nowhere. He ran a red light. Police say two people got out of that car and then ran. They didn't even stop to ask them if they were okay. They didn't look back to check to see if they were okay. You should turn yourself in.